The Danish royal family has released a new photo of Queen Margrethe with her two sons, despite spending Christmas apart from Rose over the title. Welcome to our channel, before we continue, please subscribe to stay updated with latest information from the Danish royal family. The Danish royal family has released a new photo of Queen Margrethe with her sons and their wives, after a row over the royal title. It's been a tumultuous autumn for the Danish royal family after Marie and Joachim's four children were stripped of their prince and princess titles, a move he has spoken out against publicly. Prince Joachim spoke out against his mother's decision in the following days, while there were reports of hostility between Joachim and his brother, Prince Frederick, over the decision. Earlier today, the palace released two photos of the family, one of which showed Frederick and his wife Marie with Joachim and his wife Marie standing around the Queen. The photo was undated, but is believed to have been taken during the Queen's Jubilee celebrations earlier this summer. The caption on the photo read, Throughout the year, Her Majesty the Queen's 50th anniversary of government was marked with events in several parts of the country. It is an old tradition that on special days in the royal house, new photographs are published, and to cap off anniversaries, two new photographs of the Queen and the royal family are published today. The images of the gala were created by the image author Per Morten Abrahamsen in the Knights Hall of Christian Ajax's palace in Amalienborg. Among other things, it is from this hall that the Queen and the royal family traditionally go out onto the balcony on birthdays to receive congratulations from the people from the palace square. The photo was released after the two families spent the holidays separately, in the wake of a row of royal titles that swept them this fall. A few days ago, Princess Mary spoke of how lucky she feels to have four children who love each other so much. I will always encourage the children to be with each other for the rest of their lives. Seeing them united is very important for us as parents, she told the Spanish newspaper El País. For us, it is very important to be together and talk about everything, in confidence, as a family, she explained. In September, the Danish Queen announced that her grandchildren Nikolai, 23, Felix, 20, Henrik, 13, and Athena, 10, would no longer hold the titles Your Highness from January 2023. At the time, Margaret insisted, the move would be useful to them in their future and allow the children, who have maintained their positions in the line of succession, to shape their lives without being bound by special considerations and duties. That the official affiliation with the Danish royal family includes. However, Prince Joachim spoke out against his mother's decision in the following days, claiming that his children had been harmed in the process. Months later, the sixth man in line to the throne admitted that communications are missing within the royal family in the run-up to the shock announcement. There's a lot to work on, Joachim told local news outlet BT. Contact was the thing that was missing. Now we've met and we're on the right track. Soon after his children were stripped of his titles, Joachim claimed he was not notified until just five days before the news broke. Instead of being princes and princesses, they would be counts and countess and be referred to as your excellences. After its announcement, Joachim spoke to Danish magazine Extra Bladet outside the Danish embassy in Paris, where he lives with his French-born wife Princess Marie and two young children, and said his four children had been hurt by their grandmother's decision. I got five days' notice to tell them. In May, she presented me with a plan that was, very much, when every kid turns 25, it will happen. Now I only have five days to tell them. Athena is 11 years old, in January. Meanwhile, his ex-wife Alexandra, 58, who was married to Joachim for 10 years until 2005, said her two sons, Nikolai and Felix, were left feeling ostracized by the institution and that the decision came like a thunderbolt out of the blue. The royal family issued another statement, saying, as the Queen said yesterday, the decision has been a long time coming. We understand there are many feelings at stake right now, but we hope you'll respect the Queen's wish to future-proof the royal family. Earlier this year, Joachim and his family were said to be moving to the US after he landed a new job in the defense industry in Washington, according to local media reports. Danish newspaper BT reports that the Danish king, 53, has decided to move to Washington, D.C., with his wife and two young children, Henrik and Athena. 
The royal couple are currently based in Paris, where the prince has worked as a defense attaché since 2020. However, that job is expected to end in June, meaning they are likely to up their sleeves in the second half of the year. The communications department of the Danish royal court did not confirm what was reported about Joachim's next move. Last week, Frederick and Mary immersed themselves in the locals during a shopping excursion in the Sydney Beach suburb of Bondi. They were accompanied by their children Christian, 17, and Isabella, 15, and twins Vincent and Josephine, 11, as well as Mary's longtime friend Amber Betty. Frederick and his wife, 50, carefully guided their young children through a busy road, sometimes holding hands or reaching out to slow them down. Vincent walks into the local Olibar Brown clothing store with his father, where he is shown carrying a paper shopping bag containing his latest purchase. Meanwhile, Marie was casually elegant for the outing, in a bright orange shirt that she wore knotted at the waist. She partially unbuttoned, revealing a black bodysuit underneath, and added a pair of baggy black leggings to the ensemble. The Australian also included a pair of beige flat sandals as part of her look and wore designer sunglasses. Her hair was pulled back from her face for the occasion, and she appeared to have minimal makeup. Frederick was wearing a simple white polo shirt and blue jeans, along with a white hat. He also donned sunglasses on what was a sunny day in Sydney, and finished off his look with beige and white Nike sneakers. The children seemed to have inherited their mother's interest in fashion, as Josephine wore a trendy American flag jumper and white shorts. Her twin Vincent, who picked up a few items on the trip, wore a khaki shirt with a yellow hand print on the front with navy shorts. Elsewhere, teen Isabella kept warm in a navy blue blazer with grey shorts. After walking around Bondi and doing some shopping, the family headed to lunch together. Last February, the Danish royal family confirmed that Hobart-born Princess Mary had spent the holidays with her Tasmanian family. It is the first time in five years that the whole family has visited Australia together. However, Mary took a solo trip to Melbourne last year. The visit this time is a private one, which means it is not dawn in any official capacity. The last time Mary travelled to her home country in an official capacity was in 2013. Thanks for watching till the end, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates.